he wants me to film that. I don't want to let this treat me like that. Never mind about your bike list. Come! I want you to see the world as it really is. Who lives in this miserable hovel? Mm. Behold the lavish abode of Robert Crutchett, Esquire. <coughs> Quite nice, really. <laughs> for a wages clerk. <laughs> Can I look through the window? Cost you nothing, which I'm sure will be very good news for you. <laughs> Are they able to see me? No which I'm sure will be very good news for them. <laughs> I could use another one of them drinks. Later. For now, I want you to see things as they really are. Touch my robe. Now, listen, my dears. Your mother and I want you all to have a good time, but you don't need to wreck the house and kill each other to do it. All right? <laughs> ah, nectar, pure nectar. And a tuppence a pint, you can't really complain. Step in, pretty mama. Oh, that's lovely, Martha. The marriage of roast goose and sage and onion stuffing a la Cratchit is one of the culinary miracles of all time. A living legend throughout the length and breadth of Camden Town. The only remaining problem is whether or not to put the stuffing inside the goose or the goose inside the stuffing. <laughs> but. Since the ultimate intention is to put them both inside ourselves, I don't suppose it much matters now, does it? Come on, Tim. Ah, there they are. The one and only carol singing Cratchits, newly returned from their triumphant musical tour of the Regent's Park and the Euston Road. And how did you do, Tiny Tim? Oh, it's taking me. Oh, well done. And you too, Captain. Another fantastic coup by the young Timothy Cratchit, financial <laughs> wizard. At only seven years of age, he's the youngest millionaire in the vast Cratchit empire. And Let's put the pennies in the jar. And how did little tiny Tim behave? Good as gold, Mother. When we sang outside the church, we let them see him just like me. Do you mind about Christmas when we made him walk and join me? He gets thoughtful sitting by himself so much. Ladies and gentlemen, if I might steal a moment of your precious time, I would like for you all to drink to the sparkling good health of the two gentlemen whose industry and generosity have made possible this sumptuous Christmas repast. Master Timothy Cratchit yeah! and Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, Mr. Scrooge, what are you trying to do, spoil our Christmas? His money paid for the goose, my dear. No, your money paid for the goose, my dear. And he paid me the money. Because you were... Because you aren't it, my love. <coughs> oh, believe me, 15 shillings a week at the Ruppins an hour, and not a penny rise in eight years. Believe me, you aren't it. Mr. Scrooge assures me that times are hard. He's right. For you they are, but not for himself. Nevertheless, he is the founder of our feast, and we will drink to him. The founder of our feast, indeed. Oh, I wish I had him here. I'd give my piece of my mind to feast upon. And he'd have indigestion for the month. Oh, oh, my dear, the children. Christmas. Well, it needs to be Christmas Day, Bob, to drink to a rotten, stingy old miser like Scrooge. But Ethel. You know who is, Bob. Nobody knows you better than you, my poor love. For Christmas, my dear. For Christmas. Children, we shall drink to your father for all the love and happiness he gives us. And to tiny Tim, for the health we wish him. <coughs> and for the sake of your father, I'll even drink to that old miser, Mr. Scrooge. <laughs> A long life to him and to us all. A Merry Christmas to us all. Merry Christmas! And God bless us. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> what an unpleasant child. You know, there are few things more nauseating than a happy family enjoying themselves at Christmas. <coughs> Do you not agree, Scrooge? I think I'm quite, quite, really quite fond of men. <laughs> <laughs> so was his wife, couldn't you tell? 
<laughs> and that is one of the few things wherein fate has blessed her. As I said to the Lord Mayor himself, I said, if her most gracious majesty gets bored, I said, you just wheel her on down to Camden Town, I said. We'll get her back on her feet in no time with a glass of Bob Cratchit's art punch and a song from young Tiny Tim. Yeah! Can't blame him, can you? Oh, 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 oh